Hello again everyone, how are you all? Hope you're all well. I'm back again with another um, Spectrum homebrew game review. I've got quite a lot of homebrew games, so I'm going to go through ones that I find interesting, ones that I love playing, ones that I find a little bit weird. Um, this one is a very fun game, very challenging game, and also a very weird game. So it sort of covers a couple of categories, so I definitely have to do a review on this one. Um, I've zoomed in at the moment, uh, as you can see, because uh, as this music's playing, there's a big bar around the outside of the screen and it's flashing and strobing quite a lot, so I'd just rather not put that on camera. Um, but as you can see, as we zoom in at the moment, it's really big, nice, chunky sprites, uh, really colourful and everything else. I love the, the artwork and the style that it's got. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get off this screen now with the music because it stops the strobing, then I'll zoom out, show you the case and talk about the game. So... There we are, let's zoom out again. There we are. Right, the game is called Down the Pipe. Uh, and as you can see in the title that I put in there, it literally is a shit game. You are a turd. <laughs> That's the whole premise of the game. Um, and you've got to it, you've got to go down the pipe, shoot all the enemies and get to the end. That's a di that more difficult than it sounds, really, because this is one of the most difficult games I've played in a long time. It really is, even on easy. So, again, this is by Phoenixware, and if you don't know these, these make some really nice homebrew games um, for your collectors out there. They're all numbered spines as well, so you know, you, your OCD, you've got to collect every single one. Um, they're a small company. Um, I think they are related to, or, you know, part of Bitmap which is a slightly larger company, but all these homebrew companies aren't massive. They're normally a few people doing a couple of games um, and putting them out there for everyone. The quality of this is really, really good. You do have, is it gonna focus? It is not gonna focus for me. Oh, there we are. There is your um, the story behind it and everything else. And yeah, if you want to pause and read that, go ahead. But I do love the fact that um, the guy that you are playing, um, he's called, what's he called? Turdsley. <laughs> You're Turdsley in it. Sorry, you know me, just like it takes a while to find stuff. Almost as long as it takes this to focus. Yeah, and you've got to shoot your way down the pipe and destroy everything you can. And I said, it sounds like a really simple game. It is a shooter. It's sort of like it's a vertical shooter, but you're going from the top to the bottom, quite literally. Um, well, bottom. I, I, I'm going to stop doing the shit jokes. <laughs> really am. Uh, when I was thinking about this, it's like, God, there's so many little puns and everything you can put in there. But let, let's try and stay clear of that. Right. So you can use your keyboard or your Sinclair joystick. Um, annoyingly at the moment I actually don't have a Sinclair joystick about anywhere I've always used the interface the Kempston so let's get crack on anyway so you can press that S on the top it's going to come back to here to change your settings so I'll start with one um, yeah there's your there's your difficulty levels Mr. Wimpy easy normal or rock hard clingers rock hard clinger <laughs> just they knew what they were doing with this game um i have played it briefly on the hardest level and i've played it on the easy level they're both really hard yeah they are I, i'm not even going to pretend to say oh hang on am i going to play this sorry knocking the camera there trying to play a game on the keyboard whilst reaching around the camera right i am just going to go with with three Oh. There's me trying to not put the strobing thing on the screen and it comes up there anyway. Interesting synthesized speech. So there you are. You are this little turd with eyes and you are dying straight away. You can only shoot. I'm dead already. You can only shoot the the things that are moving. So the stationary turds are just obstacles to avoid. You see already, it just looked really nice and colourful. 
Uh, it is fun to play. You kind of have to memorise where everything is and you, you pass through. But you cannot touch anything. You have to be pixel perfect to play this game. And I, I have not figured out how to beat these guys that come down from above. Now I have to shoot a lot, otherwise I die here. Remember, this is the easy level. I'm going to go quiet now because this is normally where I die very quickly. Once you get stuck, you're dead. You do have a health bar. Um, good sometimes, but... Hang on, that's me pressing the wrong buttons. Really isn't easy playing this ridiculously hard game. Oh. See, everything you touch kills you. You can't touch the walls either. Power up. Uh, not power up. Health up. Wrong button. I think this is where I really wish I had a joystick. Uh, that's the game over screen. You'll probably be seeing that an awful lot. Um, right, just for fun, let's go down and do the hard one. one. Rock hard, number one. And look, it's red and you have one life now. One life, game over. More enemies. I tell you, I'm going to go over in a minute why I like this game and things that are absolutely frustrating the hell out of me with this game. Game over screen again. Right, let's just go back. Yes. Change the, um, change it back to the normal one again. Right. Reasons why this game is frustrating. One, the, the, everything moves really quickly, right, when it's coming towards you. You've got enemies that come from above, which I have not found any way of getting past without taking damage. Two, the hit detection on everything. You cannot touch anything. I mean, look. Trying to go through it. Trying to go through there. Everything takes pet ever off you. But the bit that annoys me more than anything else, see, there's the enemies. How do I get them without taking any damage? Right? When I shoot, look, a second I shoot, it flies straight to the bottom of the screen. And you're constantly fighting against that. So, look, shoot. It just falls. So, if, if what I'm. And when you're going back up as well, trying to shoot. You seem to always be going up about exactly the same speed as something's coming up towards you. This, this is a frustrating game. It really is. I, when I saw this, I was hoping for something like, I saw the sprites and everything else. I thought, oh, that's going to be an interesting, an interesting shooter. I'm going to enjoy playing that. Oh, hang on. Is that sort of how you do that? But still took damage regardless. Um, the heat detection as well. If if something is like right on you, you can shoot and shoot and shoot. They're taking health off you, but you can't hit them. Oh, power, power up. So I've stopped talking now. I'm actually trying to get a little bit further in this game. But it's a proper button basher this is. It's You can just hear how much I'm pressing the fire button. And I'm pressing up constantly to stay up there. Because if I don't, I do this. I fall down. And it you go up so slowly. Oh, that's how you do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think something out whilst I'm playing this game. But they look... Yeah. 
if you want a challenging game, this is the game for you. And no, no, see, I get stuck. And would you get stuck in it? Oh, anything. No matter how far you go, no matter how far down the pipe you get, right back to the beginning. Every single time you die. So, can I recommend this game? If you're a collector and you, you like your Spectrum games and your Homebrew games, yes, definitely go ahead get this game. Don't expect it to be an easy game, because it isn't. Um, expect to swear at this game. Expect to be frustrated, because um, you just will be. It's... So let's see what normal is. See, it just changes the colour. One last go, do it on normal. See, all the difference is with the the easy, medium, hard is they take a life off you. So the game is just as difficult. You just get more goes at being difficult. Every time, look at that, how pixel perfect I had to be. Unless I figured out how to do that, that's got to fight that bloody pull him down the most frustrating thing to have a game that's constantly pulling you towards the enemies I think I can oh I do not I'll leave it to your own imagination what these bits are it's supposed to be things that are flushed away <laughs> Oh, I want to get get. It has got a pause button. I like the pause music. Anyway, back to the game. See, once it gets past it, it's really difficult because especially the pattern they're they're, they're moving at. Oh, see where you need a turbo button. <laughs> Can I, can I get further than I had before? Let's see. See, it's not a bad game. It isn't. It's just a stupidly hard game. Um, I really do like the music. I like the animation style. I like the idea behind it. Oh, that, oh, that, just because I touched the wall. Right back at the beginning again. Uh, frustrating. Definitely frustrating. I tell you what, there's no. Uh... Get off. Oh, I'm dead on this one. Messed it up right from the beginning. Bear. Oh, that's it. Oh, so I've just got to wait it. Oh, I pressed by it, didn't I? It pulled me down. I should have just waited it out and let him go past. I am learning as I go. Oh, no. Dead. And the classic game over screen. So, yeah, that's um, that's down the pipe. Definitely get yourself a copy, but just be prepared to be very frustrated in this game. <laughs> There's no more I can say about it. It's just, it's annoyed me because uh, I've tried. I've tried to get further. That is pretty much as far as I've ever got. Um, but one mistake, one mistake, hitting a wall or whatever. Right back to the beginning. Will I come back to this game and play it again? Probably. Um, but yeah, that's down the pipe. Give it a go if you like a challenge. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, and I will see you all again next time with some other review or gameplay or other random stuff. See you again soon. Bye.